What's up, Hopper Nation? It's Jim Bobbington. Today I'm going to bring you a video that I thought was more suited for a short, uh, but I think there's a little bit more to talk about here than 60 seconds worth of content, even after editing. What we're going to talk about is the stock shocks. Now, in a recent video, I talked about uh, how they are one of the uh, most complained about components of this motorcycle. Uh, in a short video, I've shown you how to adjust it, but I haven't told you how to adjust it properly yet. We're going to come right back and we're going to go over that. Stay tuned. Welcome back. So if you were like many people, you probably just hopped on your motorcycle from the factory, assumed it was set up correctly, and continued to complain about how shitty the stock shocks were. Well, guess what? The factory doesn't set these shocks up for any particular scenario or person. Uh, when I bought my motorcycle, I even asked the dealership there, hey, can you adjust the shocks correctly for my weight? And they were like, nope, sorry. Uh, so there is a factory suggested rhyme and reason to set it up yourself. But if you're like me, you kind of just adjust it to uh, how many threads are showing and try it out. And then, yeah, I didn't like that. Let me firm it up. Oh, that sucked. Let me loosen it up. Oh, I guess that's good. So that's kind of what I've been doing. But what I wanted to do in this video is go over the appropriate way that the factory thinks you should adjust your shocks and kind of compare that setting to how I've got it dialed in by the, the trial and test method. So if you look at the manual, there is a very specific distance that these two bolts on the shock should be while you are sitting on the bike or while the typical weight is sitting on the bike and that is 282 millimeters between the center of each one of these bolts. So right now I've got about six threads showing and I think that's pretty darn good. It feels good. It's not too bouncy. It's not too firm. I don't bottom out. It's a pretty good setting for me. I'm about 185 pounds. This is kind of how I've gotten it dialed in through tri trial and error over time with many different adjustments, trying different things. So the reason most of us probably have not done the appropriate setup is because it kind of requires a second person. Uh, you need to be sitting on the bike while somebody measures the, the shocks and adjusts them accordingly. What I'm gonna attempt to do today is figure out a way that I can do that by myself without needing another person. If I can figure that out and share that with you all, I think more people will be willing to adjust these properly and see how that works out. But part two, I really want to know, is the factory setting better than what I think is the best setting based on my trial and error method? So let's see what I come up with. First and foremost, you're going to need a beer, I think. Um, Not a shitty beer, like a good beer. Uh, something somewhat like this. This is 9% though, maybe not recommended for your average beer drinker. <sighs> Next, I'm thinking I'm gonna need a piece of wood, some screws and nails. So let's, let's figure that out. All right, so here's what I'm thinking. These bolts have a big old divot on the inside and I've got some screws and when the head of that screw rests inside that divot it is dead center feels real good so I'm thinking measure out a piece of wood drill these into the 282 millimeter marks and I'll be able to use that to identify the distance between these while I am sitting on the bike let's see how that works Okay, so here's what I've done. I measured a point exactly 282, exactly-ish, 282 millimeters from each other. I made sure that they were the same distance from the edge, so they're centered in the board-ish. And I put a screw in, 
exactly at that 282 millimeter mark on each side just until they started poking through on the back side so that they're the same length same type of screw and check it out so actually without me on the bike they're almost damn centered which to me means that I do not have enough preload on here so if I sit on here they will be too close together but now I think I'll be able to sit on the bike while I'm use this stick to measure and adjust my preload accordingly so let's get that on video and see how stupid that looks okay so first of all I'm going to unlock the lock nut so that we have so it's easier to adjust while I'm on it. So yeah, the top one does not actually sit where it's supposed to. They are too close together. Jump off, tighten it a few notches and then hop back on. Now, so I have these set at six threads, roughly. My boy, Jason McCurry, he's about the same weight. And he's like, no, you gotta try eight threads, it's perfect. I'm like, shut up, you're stupid. But this is starting to sound like eight threads is gonna be closer to the actual factory setting. All right, so I'm gonna sit on it, lift it up, see how much, give it some load. Still a little too close together. I'm just adjusting this one kind of similarly along the way. I don't want them super offset. And this one causing an inaccurate reading on that side. But obviously once we get one side dialed in, we'll wanna make sure the other side matches. Bounce. Still a bit far apart. This side's actually closer. Whew. I'm sorry, this isn't hard work. I'm sweating like a mofo because it's like 85 degrees outside or something. I know that's not very hot for some of you. But I get hot just eating, so. That's starting to feel pretty firm. Oh man, so that, that's pretty darn centered. I'm kind of happy with that. Damn, okay, that's a shit ton of threads compared to what I had before. 12 threads. Goodness gracious. So I'm gonna tighten these down. So I mean, that, that, that is firm as shit. But I, I would say that's about as dead center as those, bolt, those uh, screws are gonna get. So what I'm gonna do next, not today obviously, because I've been drinking beer. But I am going to take this thing for a test drive tomorrow and come back and give you an honest review of my comparison of this setting versus how I feel like I had it dialed in before. But uh, so you know, that, that's the way I feel like is the best to get it accomplished yourself. I'll check back. We'll see how it went. All right, guys, I am back the next day and... I learned a couple things last night. So, thing one, I did not actually measure the distance between the two screw heads once I screwed them into the board where I had made the measurements, and they were about two millimeters too far apart. So I used a hammer, tapped one in, to get them exactly 282 millimeters apart. Uh, redid those measurements, and it actually came down from 12 threads to about 10 threads. Thing two, so check this out. This is a 2021 manual 
specifically for a scout bobber. Nowhere on this page does it give you any figure other than 282 millimeters. That's it. Nowhere else does it give you any specifications for a scout or anything different. 282 is the number it gives me. <clears throat> so last night I was poking around on Facebook groups and someone literally dropped a post last night uh, talking about how the bobber actually needs to be 275 millimeters. Uh, he gave me a link to an official Indian site that said 282 is the measurement for the scout, but the bobber, having shorter shocks, needs to be set to 275. So either way, I've got it set at 282. I know it's firm, probably gonna hate it. 10 threads is about where it came from the factory and I did not like it and started adjusting it pretty quickly. Um, but either way, I'm gonna go ride it at 282, come back with my thoughts, reset my stick to 275, readjust my shocks, go for a ride and compare and come back all in the name of science and let you know what's what. So stay tuned once again, I'll be back. Okay, I just got back from test ride of 282 millimeter setting and fuck that sucks. So you can feel just about every little crack and imperfection in the road uh, everything is jarring, very firm, not enjoyable, would not recommend. Now I'm going to set the shocks to 275, take the same route again, and compare. Alright you guys, I'm back. I'm not going to lie, I did not trust the process. Uh, I started adjusting the shocks for the 275 millimeter setting. And I was getting down to four threads left, and it still was longer than 275. So I tightened it up, left it at four, went for a drive, was still like, no, uh, I don't like it. But for science, I came back, I still adjusted it to where 275 was the distance between the bolts, and that was actually at three threads. And I went for another drive. Again, I was very skeptical that this whole thing was gonna work out, and I, I thought this whole video was gonna be like, don't fucking waste your time, this shit's stupid. Indian doesn't know what they're talking about. Just feel it out, figure it out yourself. But at three threads, 275 millimeters, that was the most comfortable ride I've ever had on this bike. It was supposed to be a five minute spin around the neighborhood, hit some bumps, see what I thought. Uh, I was gone for 20, 30 minutes. It felt so good. I couldn't stop. Now, that is probably the softest setting you could possibly go with, but that's going to be the most comfortable. So if you're in it for performance, that's a great place to start, but you're probably going to want to firm it up. Now, that being said, I didn't notice any negative side effects um, or anything like that. No compromises in how the bike handled or performed. It felt great overall. And now, just to recap, when I got the bike, it was at like 10 threads. Hated it, dropped it down to, I think, eight. Wasn't so keen on that. Went completely the opposite direction, down to zero. Tried, at zero, I was bottoming out. Tried two, tried four, tried six. And I was just, I figured, skip the odd numbers, what big a difference would something in between make? So like I said, I've tried two, I've tried four, didn't really end up sticking with either one of those because I didn't like it. Three, that is where it was at. Um, for me, at 185 pounds, every millimeter of distance seemed to be about one thread. That ratio is gonna change depending on your weight, uh, but when I had it at 282, that was 10 threads. When I dropped it down to 275, that was three threads, so seven millimeters seven threads difference but i am no longer a skeptic uh that was the best setting i've ever tried and i've tried everything around it nothing felt quite the same so i'm going to keep it for a while maybe forever um but i do recommend this uh luckily i found that link yesterday uh that says 275 is the appropriate setting for a bobber otherwise i would have told you all this is bullshit 282 is trash don't listen to indian but 
there must have been some sort of revision along the line. After, I think that article was from March 2021. Uh, I bought the bike in October last year. That's the manual I got. So my manual is technically probably 2020 data, but just said 2021 on it. So yes, I do recommend this. Yes, it's easy to do by yourself. I think most people have never adjusted their shocks properly because it typically takes two people. But the method I just showed you worked wonders. I was really able to dial it in all by myself and it feels great. Uh, I will throw a link. I don't know if I said that already. I will throw a link to that document uh, from Indian on the measurements and how to adjust your shocks in the description below. Uh, but thanks to science, this was a success. And I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope this helps you make your ride a bit more comfortable. Until next time, this is Jim Bobbington reminding you, don't be a skid mark. We'll see you later. Goodbye.